What's up team? How we doing? Welcome to the video. I want to talk to you today about the seven best ways to get and find a football agent to take your career to the next level. It's gonna be a bit of a different style video today. I'm basically gonna take you through my entire day. And as we go through the day, I will give you the seven tips to get a football agent. My bad, y'all. Had to make myself a quick gainer shake before I hit the gym. But before I hit the gym, I wanna to talk to you guys about the first tip about how to get a football agent. And that tip is, no matter where you are, who you're playing with, always strive to be the best player you can be. Because you never know who's watching and you never know who knows who. The football world is a very, very, very small world. So wherever you are, make sure you're the best player you can be and you're the nicest and best person that you can be. Always act like a pro and always do the right thing. I'll see you guys at the gym. About to head over for the gym for a solid leg session, but I wanna give you the second tip, which is build connections with people. Proper, strong connections, strong relationships, not just some bogus to get an agent or to get somewhere. Do it for real. Really connect with people on your journey connect with people who love the beautiful game, connect with people who are on the same journey as you, and help each other out. Give them some tips, have them give you tips, and then you can share contact information. If they have an agent, if they have another representative who can help you, share. And always be looking to be a good person. Be a good person on and off the field, not just to get something. Do it to truly connect with another human being and look to help them out because I'm sure they'll also want to help you out. As you saw, good little leg sesh, nothing too heavy. Season's coming closer, got about a month and a half left. So I'm moving as fast as I can with lighter weights, working quickly, working to be explosive and working to be powerful. But I wanna stop talking and I wanna give you the third tip 
And the third tip is always, always, always be prepared for your opportunity. Because if you ask any other footballer out there, any other footballer who signed a professional contract, they will tell you that football is a sport where sometimes you feel like you have nothing. You say to your friends, you say to your family, damn, I feel like I got nothing. And then one week comes by, two weeks, three weeks, you got three or four offers. And if you haven't been training, if you haven't been preparing, and you get that opportunity to go on a solid trial, or you have a very good opportunity to sign with a team, and you're not prepared, and you don't perform well, what's the use? So, make sure you are always prepared no matter what. If you really want to play professional football and sign a professional contract, make sure that you don't let your emotions affect your actions. Always be putting the work in, in the gym, on the field, eating good food in the kitchen, making sure to do your recovery with yoga, sauna, ice baths, cold showers, making sure to get good sleep, taking care of your mental health with meditation, breathing techniques. Just make sure you're well prepared and you're well armored when you get that opportunity. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to grab some lunch. Little look at lunch, post session, salmon, veggies, rice, and some salad. Let's munch. Just finished a fantastic lunch. Got to refuel after a good leg session. Check out that beautiful view of Haifa, Israel. Gonna go grab a coffee, but before, I want to give you the fourth tip. Make sure you have a professional resume, CV. This is where you've played before, any awards you've had, specifics on your personal details and personal information, and a highlight video. You want to have a highlight video, which is basically like an appetizer. It's an appetizer for the agent to see your ability, to see how you play. But this is just a highlight. These are your best clips. Obviously, he or she is going to want to see you play in person. So if you have full matches, you can also send that. But make sure to have a professionally done resume as well as a professionally done highlight video. Make sure you are circled. Make sure the agent can see you are the one touching the ball and make sure you're specific. I'm gonna go grab my coffee, get some work done. I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, homies? How we doing? Just had a great podcast with David Rowley of the Malaysian Premier League. I'll drop a link in the description if you want to take a listen. But I want to give you the fifth tip. If you have a desire to play overseas in another country, make sure you pick a country that you are willing to fully commit yourself to for three to four years. You want to be able to assimilate yourself into the culture, work your hardest to try to learn the language, and really try to fit in. Bouncing country to country without proper backing and proper backup is very, very tough. Unless you're a very, very big player with a very big agent, it's tough to do that. So I suggest picking a country that you're willing to commit to for a couple years settle down and looking to make your name there 
What's up, homies? How we doing? It's the next day now. I'm sorry I didn't finish the video. It's the boy's birthday weekend. Today's August 13th. Your boy's birthday is tomorrow, August 14th. Had a nice dinner last night. But I want to give you the sixth tip. My sixth tip is build a professional and strong LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is one of the most professional and has been one of the most useful for me trying to find football agents in different countries. It hasn't only been useful for me, I've spoken to many other people who have also been on the grind, been on the journey like I've been, and they think LinkedIn is the best place to be to find an agent. What you do is you build a strong LinkedIn profile, include your CV, include your highlight video within your profile, and all you do is you go to the search bar and you type in whatever country you desire to go to, like I spoke in the last tip, whatever country you want to go to, type in that country and then type in football agents, type in soccer agents, and all you do is you start connecting with agents from those countries, send them a short, brief message about how you're interested in possibly coming to play in that country, send them your CV as well as your highlight video, and that's a short introduction. You'll make a lot of good connections there, and they're strong business-type connections that you won't make other places. So, take the time, put the time in to build a strong LinkedIn profile. I'm headed off to grab a massage. Today's a bit of an off day. I just finished an upper body session. I got one more tip for you. I'll see you at the seventh tip. Massage finished. It's all part of the training. It's all part of it. Treat that body right. What's up, homies? Your boy is off to Tel Aviv for the birthday weekend. Before I want to go, I want to give you the seventh tip. And the seventh tip is, if you're unsuccessful with finding a representative, finding an agent, go on Facebook. Connect with the team on Facebook via their team page. Send them a message, and I'm sure they'll get back to you. For many other footballers I've spoken to on the journey, they've tried other ways, other websites. Besides LinkedIn, Facebook is the best way, contacting the team directly. So, if you're unsuccessful finding an agent, wherever country you're in, or the country you're trying to pursue to play in, search the team that you're interested, on, interested in on Facebook, send them a message, ask them if you could come trial for them, and I'm sure they'll be happy and glad to have you in for a trial. You can also ask if you can come train with them. That's also a good way to get in there and instead of kind of putting them in a pressure situation, obviously now with the corona times, they might say they're in a financial bad situation. All you have to do is ask if you could come train with them and I'm sure they'll be glad to and when you show your ability, they'll want to sign you. What's up, homies? Thanks so much for tuning into the video. I really appreciate it. I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you have any specific questions, hit me up and I'll be glad to answer you. Thanks so much for your support on the channel. I would appreciate if you liked the video, subscribed, dropped a comment, let me know what you thought. Have a good rest of the day. Have a good weekend. See you soon.